Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Start From Within series. Today, we're going to be talking about the Somatic Choice Board. If you're not familiar with who I am, welcome and hello. I'm Tamisha Williams. I regularly help educators and school leaders around issues of bias, emotions, managing conflict, and promoting equity and wellness. I do this through a range of social and emotional learning services and other resources that help them to cultivate an emotional healthy capacity. I hope that you will join me throughout this series. If you're new to the Start From Within series, welcome. <laughs> this series is a free monthly video series where I'm going to be sharing tools and exercises that help you to increase your own self-awareness, that cult help you to cultivate a healthy emotional capacity, and again, that promote equity and wellness. You can head over to startfromwithin.com. All of the videos will be posted there, along with all of the worksheets that go along with these videos. If you if you purchase the From Within workbook, please know that some of the exercises that I'm going to be sharing throughout this series are going to be familiar to you. They're going to complement some of the chapters of this workbook and perhaps take things a little bit deeper. So if you are not familiar with the From Within workbook, you can learn more about it at fromwithinworkbook.com. And again, it's a workbook that is an equity-centered social and emotional learning workbook for educators. And so many of the things that we talk about in this series are going to be highlighted within that. And with that being said, here's what you can expect throughout today's video. First, I'm just going to share what I mean by somatic. And second, I'm going to be talking to you about the purpose of a somatic choice board. Why do we need to use it? What is it going to help us do? We're going to then explore the choice board. I'm going to be walking you through the pre-reflection and actually explaining some of the choices on the choice board in case they're unfamiliar to you. And last but not least, I will end by sharing some facilitation tips if you're interested in bringing the somatic choice board to your community. All right, let's dive in. So when I say somatic, I'm talking about things being related to or affecting the body, our feeling self. So a lot of times we spend time in our heads, our thinking self, and this is really an opportunity for us to get familiar with how we are feeling, especially as distinct from our mind. Psychology today talks about the fact that the body can manifest mental unease and it can also help to heal it. And so as we start to recognize how our mind and body are connected, by getting more connected with our body, we can again just help to heal some of the mental unease that we are experiencing. Psychology Today also talks about the fact that somatics is a pretty broad term, and it focuses on body movement as a means of improving mental health. And that history dates back to physical education movements back in the 19th century. So why the Somatic Choice Board? The Somatic Choice Board is really helpful in helping you get connected to your body, how you're feeling and what sensations you notice. This choice board and the process that you follow also encourages you to slow down to pause and to reconnect with yourself. The choice board also prompts you to be responsive to your body's needs. How am I feeling in this moment? And based on how I'm feeling, what do I need to do? What does my body need? So let's take a look at the actual choice board. If you purchase the From Within workbook, this particular choice board is going to complement the following chapters. Get into your feelings, explore your choice board, and get grounded in the now. You'll find elements of those three chapters. You'll find that the somatic choice board actually has elements of those three chapters in it. And I would encourage you to revisit those particular chapters if you haven't already um, explored those in the workbook. Before we do the pre-reflection, let me show you what the worksheet looks like. If you go to startfromwithin.com and you get the somatic choice board worksheet, you'll be seeing a Google document 
that's going to allow you to walk through this exercise. So you can get that now if you want and walk through with the video. The worksheet is going to share context and purpose similar to what we went over. It's also going to have the pre reflection so that you can type in and talk about how you're feeling and what you observe in your body. And after the pre reflection is the actual somatic choice board. So this is your free copy for you to use personally. Now let's say you really enjoy this tool and you want to share it with others. I would ask that you please have them go to startfromwithin.com so that they can get their own free copy and also. If you want a more stylized PDF version of the somatic choice board and of the pre reflection body practice, you can purchase that at tamishawilliams.com slash shop. And this is, these are some screenshots from that. So now that we know what the worksheet is, and if you want to follow along, hopefully you've already dipped on over to startfromwithin.com, let's head back to our slides and let's go through the actual exercise. Okay, so the first part of using the somatic choice board is actually the pre reflection and we're going to start by getting into our body. The body acronym is created by and should be credited to Elsa Menendez, who is an amazing educator, facilitator, coach, um, artist in the Albuquerque, New Mexico area. I've had the pleasure of working with her for the past gosh. I don't know how many years now, we were co-facilitators and continue to co-facilitate the Wild Leadership Retreat, which is a part of the Sophia Center for Professional Development. So let's again drop into our body. We're going to be going from our thinking self to our feeling self and really getting connected with how we're feeling and what our body needs. I have some images here of a body scan. So again, as you observe your body, I invite you to just do a scan from head to toe, from toe to head. Um, what does my body feel like? What are the sensations that I feel and what do I need? Let's walk through it together. So the first part of our acronym is B, breathe. So I'm gonna invite you now, if you feel safe enough to do so, or if you're comfortable, just go on and close your eyes. And I invite you to take in a few deep breaths. As you inhale, really breathe in fresh energy and life. And as you exhale, exhale things that are no longer serving you, stress, tension. Notice the rise and fall of your stomach or chest as you inhale and exhale. And on your last breath, pay attention to the sensation, whether it's warm or cool, when you inhale and exhale on the top of your lip. And when you're ready to return after your breaths, We'll now take a moment to just observe, how are we feeling? Are you feeling light, heavy, tired, energized? What sensations do you notice in your body? Warmth, coolness, tingling, tightening of particular areas? Pause this video here and just take a moment to observe for yourself, how are you feeling? And what sensations do you notice in your body? Now that we've had a moment to observe, letter D is for discern. And so we're going to discern like what does our body need in the moment based off of what we feel and the sensations that we felt. Does our body need to stretch, to release, to move, right, to pause? I'd like you to use your own intuition right now and just think about what your body needs. But this is also where you would move to looking at the choice board and seeing if there are options on the choice board that fit. So again, I'll pause. If you need to pause the video here, take a moment and discern what does your body need in this moment? Okay, 
And the why is for yes, because we are enthusiastically going to be enjoying the benefits of giving our body what it needs. And in a moment, we're going to head to the next slide and take a look at the choice board. But this yes, is it's exciting, right? It's like, yes, we're giving our, ourselves opportunity to honor what our body needs. Um, and we want to do that with enthusiasm and jo joy and love for self. So here is the somatic choice board. Perhaps you take a look at it and you notice that the thing that you said, oh yeah, I discerned that my body needed that, it's on the choice board. That's great. Perhaps you realize that your body needs something that's not on the choice board. Well, that's a beautiful piece about it, right? This choice board is not um, the limit to what you can do. It's an inspiration. So you can, that centerpiece says your choice. If something that you want to do or need to do for your body isn't on the choice board, go do it, right? Use that center free choice space, mm -hmm. your choice. But perhaps this choice board actually is helpful to you and giving you some inspiration about things that you can do. So what I'd like to do is to actually take a moment and go through each of the different areas. Some may be familiar to you, but just in case they're not, I'd like to talk through them or demonstrate them to help you along. Let's start first with stretch. next we have to connect with someone either verbally or physically sometimes after you've participated in a workshop or perhaps after a rough meeting um, maybe even just as you're getting started in the day you just might feel the need to connect with someone that connection may be that you want to embrace someone hold hands it may be verbal connection really wanting to be present with someone to talk and to discuss and that connection again can be done um yeah, I lost my train of thought there, <laughs> so we'll just continue. But one of the ways, again, that I've seen people do this connection is for some people, it's helpful for them to connect with each other physically, whether that be um, stretching, right, with one another, um, holding hands and connecting or processing something that they just went through or were talking about. So if connecting is important to you, that's a great choice. Journaling can take many different directions, right? One of the ways that we can journal is actually by describing in our journal how we're feeling and the sensations that we're noticing in our body. You might even want to draw out or doodle how you're feeling, but you could also just doodle in general. Doodling and journaling in that way is really helpful for mental release. Um, and you could also just do a free write just to write down everything that's coming to mind for you. It's a great way to release things from our brain and to give our mind a reset, if you will. Number six, or I guess we'll go with seven, is the five senses check-in. Now, I'm actually going to be demonstrating the five senses check-in next month during our next Start From Within video. So I'm not going to go deep into that yet. However, what I will say is the five senses check-in is a way for you to get recentered by tuning into your five senses. What are some things that you see around you? What are some things that you can touch or feel? What are things that you can smell? What are things that you can taste? What are things that you can hear? It's 
So again, stay tuned next month for our next month video, and we'll be do doing a deeper dive into the five census check-in. All right, next is shake it out and dance. And last but not least, take a walk or run. What's nice about this is there's different paces, right, that we can go to and different things we can do during our walks or run. So what pace does your body need? Does it need a gentle and slow pace? And with that gentle and slow pace, do you just need silence and just observe, again, maybe tapping into the five senses? Or do you need a slow pace and you need to listen to some music that helps to soothe you or listen to a podcast or book that helps you to get recentered? Or do you need a fast pace? Do you need to speed walk and really release tension and energy from yourself? Also, do you need an even faster pace? Do you need to be running? Again, if walking and running is your thing, consider what kind of pace you need and what you also might want to be doing. How are you utilizing your other senses as you're walking and running? That's the somatic choice board. So I hope that you find this to be a useful tool. How though, could you take this into your work with teams, organizations, your family? I facilitated with the somatic choice board several times and I wanna share some facilitation tips with you if you'd like to take this to your team. My number one tip, always, the first one will be to practice the tool yourself. Before you jump in and add this to a slide and hand it out to folks, I'm encouraging you to get your own somatic practice going. Practice using the tool on a daily basis, really understanding what it feels like to be fully present with yourself, to slow down. What kind of conditions did you need around you in order to be fully present for yourself? How much time did it take for you to pause and explore your body's needs? Any time that you plan to use a tool from this series, practice first with it on your own. My next tool would be to set the stage for reflection. So if you're gonna be facilitating this, what kind of environment are you facilitating in? Is everyone crunched together, sitting close together, is really tight? And if so, is that the best environment for them to really breathe and pause and reflect? Or is there some open space available that people can get out of their seats in and again, be more in their bodies as they do the reflection? Consider things like light music or aromatherapy to also set the stage for reflection. Remember to pause and leave room for silence especially if you're going to be facilitating people through the body pre-reflection. You want to make sure that folks have space to truly drop from their thinking self to their feeling self, and especially during that observe period, notice what's happening in their body without being rushed through that process. If it helps you to have, I mean, to, to pause, then again, consider having some music in the background so that that silence doesn't feel so weighty. But again, perhaps with soft music, it allows for some spaciousness in that pause. I've also used this as a transition tool. So transition tool either into the session, if people are coming from something else, what's something that their body may need before we get started. Um, I recently facilitated a three hour workshop. And when we took our break, I again put this on the screen and people had their own physical copies and I encourage them to go through the body pre-reflection and then do something that they needed, that their body needed during the break. So instead of the break just being um, an automatic, I'm just going to go and talk to somebody, is that what your body needs right now? Or if your friend comes up and talks to you, do you need to be able to say, actually, before I talk, my body actually needs me to just take a few breaths, right? Or I just need to shake some of this tension off from this conversation we just had. Um, and then last but not least, I've used this as a transition tool out of my workshops. So as people are leaving my workshop space, I encourage them to use this choice board before they jump to their next task. 
Okay, and then my last tip is to infuse some choice and creativity in there. So, and maybe encourage people to create their own somatic choice board. Similar to what we did with the dorsal practices choice board, this is a way for them to think about some of the somatic practices that they really enjoy and to make their own choice board from that. You also might find that people are going to be more engaged with the tool on a regular basis if they've created their own. So if you, again, end up making your own somatic choice board, please share with me. I'd love to see what you come up with. So I've given you tips on how to facilitate the somatic choice board, but I also want you to consider how you might utilize this choice board as a regular part of your own teaching, leadership, or just personal practice. Imagine the benefits if everyone around us was regularly pausing, slowing down, and were more present with what was happening in their body. Imagine the benefits if people around us were taking restful breaks and really responding to their body needs. The mental, physical, and emotional benefits outweigh our need to rush and to finish and complete things, right? And to also push our bodies beyond what it needs, especially when it's sending us signals to rest and to pause. But are we noticing those signals? Are we slowing down enough to notice? So again, I encourage you to build your own somatic practice, create your own somatic choice board, and notice some of the impact that's happening when you're pausing and being responsive to your body and your, over, your overall well being. So, how might a regular somatic practice assist you in prioritizing your own health and wellness? How might a regular somatic practice assist you in those moments where you are maybe engaged in conflict? It's a challenging or tense situation. And because you have a regular somatic practice, you understand that you need to pause, to slow down, and hopefully your responses are more value aligned because you are, again, engaged in understanding, okay, in this moment, I shouldn't respond, right? I'm noticing the tightening in my jaw. I'm noticing the knot in my back. I need to pause before I continue on. And how might a regular somatic practice somatic practice actually help you in being a more present community member, family member, team member. So again, I hope that this has been useful. And if you do create your own somatic choice board, share it with me using the hashtag start from within. Also um, share it with me on social media. I'd love to see. If you found today's video useful, thank you um, for sharing and sharing the Start From Within series with folks, but also sharing this particular video and the somatic choice board with folks by again, having them go to startfromwithin.com. Until we connect again, please take care of yourselves, stay safe, and as always, start from within. You can find me on social media. Also, feel free to send me an email. Let me know how this video series is assisting you in your practices. It was great to connect with you all today. Have a good one.